Welcome back. Alex has got her alarm fixed. <laughs> and we are back. <laughs> Um, so let's just get into our next topic. And <laughs> Paul, you're really excited about this one. I don't know if Caboose and I will be as excited, but Alex, her eyes are lighting up. So take it away. <laughs> I feel like this topic is really more about me right? trying to convert Caboose into a card game uh, enthusiast. But uh, yeah, I think my topic's all about uh, talking about why I'm so excited about Legends of Runeterra and why I think it's probably the best card game I've ever what? played. Now, okay, so that might seem ironic because I spent like two weeks ago when I was on the show, I just talked about how much I love magic. But- uh, yeah, You did say that. <laughs> I did You're a little traitor. I know, I know. <laughs> they they <laughs> got me, man, they got me. It was it's such a good game. And like, okay, so they just uh, they just brought out a new expansion called Call the Mountain, which they brought in a bunch of new characters from uh, the League of Legends uh, universe. So they're exploring the lore of People like Lulu, people like Tarek, people like uh, Aurelian Soul, Alex, all that stuff. And <laughs> man, like, okay, so I'm not just excited about the expansion because it's bringing in a bunch of new cards, but I'm excited because the game is delivering on everything they said they deliver and they're setting a nice, like, standard, like a new standard to how a card game should be, um, should be made. So, so they're changing the game of card games. The well, card. they're setting a standard about how, like, the the card game, like, genre should be approached. Because uh, when you think about card games, right, you think about a few things. Number one, you think about, okay, if I play this card game, how long is it going to take for me to realistically get a collection, right? Um, right. Number two, you think about, like, yeah, exactly. You think about, okay, let's say I, I could even get a deck, like, how often can I get a new deck? Like, is it going to, like, how long is it going to be relevant for? And it's and, and I feel like it's those barriers to entry, which makes people hesitant to mm -hmm. kind of enter card games. But... Runeterra has changed all that, and for three main reasons, actually. So the first one is that with this new expansion, they confirmed one thing, which is that they're going to release new cards every two months. And to give you perspective of why that's really important, it's because other games like Hearthstone and Magic, they add cards every four months. And that's that's a long time between, like, how the meta shifts, right? And yeah. when when you get new cards every two months, they're keeping it fresh and they've been delivering on that exact fact with this new expansion and everyone in the community is happy about like, oh, like it's never going to be kind of like a, a boring like metagame, right? So we're excited about that. The um, second I, oh, so, sorry. Can on. I, no, sorry. No, no. I, I just yeah, wanted, uh, Luna in chat says, Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be the best. Then they ruined the synchro, uh, synchro summons, and then it kept getting worse. I have no idea what any of that means. All I know, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! duel. I've been, there. <laughs> I've been there too. I've been there too. He's talking about so what they're basically talking about is how uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! kept adding in like new ways to summon creatures, mm. and the way they did it was they made it easier and easier to put stronger and stronger creatures out. So then oh, the game okay. just became like. A game of power creep and all that because like that's the thing like how you are actually excited the fact that runeterra is actually introducing new cards or is it new decks that you said new cards i feel so out of the loop because i don't know <laughs> card games but um, <laughs> i would think that would kind of upset people kind of how like this whole pokemon thing that we were talking about uh last week how they were doing updates to or removing like key players in Pokemon, it kind of changes the meta too much for fans that are used to playing a certain style. So, like, do you find that the fan base of Runeterra actually wants that change coming more frequently? I think they do because when I play when I play card games, one of the things that that happens is on one on one end, um, you do, people don't mind waiting a long time before a new set comes in because they like keeping their good deck and having it stay relevant for a long time, right? But on the other hand, you have this problem in a lot of card games where they suffer from power creep. So mm. when a new set comes out, they bring in a bunch of new powerful cards and then it ends up being that realistically, if you wanted to climb the ladder, only, you can only do it with about like three or four decks, right? And it create and if you're playing just three to four decks for four months straight, it kind of turns people off from the game, especially people who just want to play the game for fun and try out like, fun shenanigans right so yeah um the and you said part, there, there was another that? thing right that you were excited about with the game yeah well it's less about something new they're bringing but just something that they're constantly doing that i talked about last time too which is that they do a really good job of communicating with the community so with every update with every cards they're bringing in they're explaining why they're doing it how they're going to shift the meta and how and, and and they're focusing on the goal of making 
every deck uh, viable. So whether you want to play like um, crazy combos, whether you want to play like standard meta decks, like they're trying to appeal to everyone. And that sounds unrealistic in your head, but they're making it like they're doing a great job. So um, balanced. They're, yeah, they're balancing <laughs> it. Uh, they're balancing it out. So plus they're they're doing an amazing job of focusing on uh, what card games don't focus enough on, which is the art and the animations, man. Like if you've yeah, been a fan of League of Legends and you come in and you see the animations for Leona, the animations for Diana, the animations for Aurelian Soul, like it's sick, man. So um, I think the fact that they're focusing so much emphasis on the artwork and really digging into the League of Legends like universe, I think yeah. that's been a big help to like the game itself and having people be uh, more involved with the game rather than just like being more committed to the game besides from the gameplay, but to the actual like story behind it. So yeah, just hyped. How, how would you compare Runeterra to like Magic or Hearthstone? Because um, for me, Hearthstone was like the game that I played a lot. And right. what I kind of miss from Hearthstone versus Runeterra is um, I have a hard time like kind of understanding the whole like attack return, order return into, like, yeah into like blocking like our other are other are card games are like that right like i know with Yu-Gi-Oh, there's like chaining is it kind of like that so yes, the, the re- chaining yes chaining exactly. <laughs> so runeterra is an interesting uh game because uh most card games is put like this it's my turn my turn ends it's your turn right yeah. and that's basically how it plays out runeterra is completely changed the game to make it more fun for both players so that um, how it works is whenever I do something, you can do something, if that yes. makes sense. You so respond. you can respond. You can, re- you can always respond. So in Hearthstone, for example, how it works is you play all your cards out, right? And mm-hmm. then you, your opponent basically just watches you, right? Wait, you, you can't do anything. To react. You wait, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you end your turn, your opponent does everything and you're just watching them, right? So yes. how Runeterra works is every time you play a card, your opponent can play a card, but only you can attack. If that makes sense. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it I works. See what you're saying. And That's then, actually what... really cool. Yeah, exactly. So because so it's really like I, it's I that mm-hmm. I think is what confused me. Um, with mm-hmm. well, not really confused me, but never got me into Yu-Gi-Oh because I always just felt like with the show and the actual card game, <laughs> it's just like you're like, okay, I'm gonna play this, 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 this. And this is going to do this. And this is going to do this. And you're just like waiting. You're like, okay, well, this is like playing chess. I might as well just do that. Mm-hmm. Um, because you're taking a long time before I could be involved. You know? Um, yeah, exactly. So it's cool. I think, you know, Runeterra is opening up this different type or a different style of playing a card game. Because it may allow... Um, people like me who have been interested like i have afk arena i know it doesn't count as a card <laughs> game but i'm gonna say it's a card game um as, as close, <laughs> but, as, close but, as you can get to a card game I yes feel. and i i yeah. tried hearthstone before as well i had it um but it, it just again this the back and forth like i could i cannot I, i'm my attention span just like mm-hmm. shuts down um so <laughs> i feel like that kind of will help uh, someone like me who may find card games very um, intimidating and slow paced to kind of get into them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really? No, no, no. You, you you hit the perfect point there, um, which is like a lot of people like who play Hearthstone and stuff. Uh, if it, it, it when you watch your opponent play, it, it almost feels like playing solitaire at some point, right? Where it's kind of like you're kind of just at the mercy of what they're gonna do to you. And I think Runeterra fixes that by making you even if you don't have any chance of winning, at least they make you feel like you have some sort of control of how much your opponent can do before right. um, they like overpower you and kill you. But yeah. Okay. I have two questions. So first question, um, does Runeterra have something that like in Hearthstone, whenever they introduce a new expansion, there's like a, uh, like, like there's like a little campaign mode that you can so- play to like kind of, kind of understand the cards and stuff. Uh, so one of the things, so I think when you add in a new expansion Hearthstone, they have like their own little like full campaign mode where you can unlock more cards, right? They yeah. have a similar thing, except you're not really doing it to unlock cards. You're doing it just to understand the new mechanics. So right, they have right. this like little section called challenges. And then it's basically like you get to see the characters talk, which is really cool. Oh, um, cool. And then like you get to find out like 
how all the new cards work and it's been doing like it's really good for beginners especially and even yeah new. this doesn't yeah. say camille and caboose like if you guys are ever bored it's like literally something you can just download on your phone and just play the campaign and see if you like it because i think i'm gonna probably do that now <laughs> yeah exactly oh. i just might have to give the it war. a go mm -hmm. don't uh, lie caboose we know you're not downloading the game wow <laughs> I, I accept wow. it. Wow. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Do you hear that? I think Camille's speaking for <laughs> he was, no, because I'm a rude Tara Stan. He said, <laughs> when he said that, he was just like, I'll definitely try it. Wow. <laughs> right? Like, it's okay. I mean, Camille's just not even, not even invested in it. She's just, I'm not going to play that crap. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's I mean, what she said. I... I, I, I <laughs> Still in the room, guys. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm still that. here. <laughs> I'll, I'll warm I'll up actually to it. Check, I'll actually check it out. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. No, I do. Like, I love when I talk to people who are fans of card games Me, yes. because yes. they get so excited about it. Like when you're talking about it, Paul, like it makes me get really interested in it. Mm -hmm. But again, the pace of the game and the intimidation, um, the learning curve is mm -hmm. what drives me away from actually taking the next step to try it. Um, so will I say I will try this one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being... I'm being <laughs> honest. Nice. Our tech producer is just like, I I'm downloading it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, while everyone downloads their, their Rune Terra, you know what? Let's see who downloads it at the end of the podcast. Okay. Let's yeah, see who has it actually, installed actually. and, you know, can multitask while we're talking about our next topic, which is uh, women in gaming. Alex, take it away. Oh, oh we're going to, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Okay. She's downloading the game. Yeah, we always had it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll you know what? I'll just link up with you later, Paul. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds oh, good. sorry. No. no, no. Ask your question before we move on. Okay, I, I just wanted to ask because yeah, sure. I was very like confused by the system of Runeterra, but sure. I was also interested in it. So what you're saying is there cannot be like a set strategy because like in Hearthstone, I'm pretty used to like. I mean, yes, there's a set strategy, but it's almost like cookie cutter all the time. So with Runeterra, you can actually like respond and the games can actually be very different. Yeah, exactly. Because, um, what do you call it? I don't know if you've ever heard about the stack in, in Magic, but that's when it gets complicated where it's like, um, there's, I don't know how to explain it. There's so much interaction in the game because mm. every skill, every ability can, can be responded by something, right? So, um... Every game is different because when you play a card, let's say it destroys your creature, it doesn't yes. happen instantaneously sometimes. It, it it It's put on a stack, and then you can respond with something else and say, oh, this creature can't be destroyed this turn. And then if your opponent can't do anything after that, then mm -hmm. everything happens at once. Get it? So then right, right. this ability comes first. Creature can't be destroyed. They try to destroy a creature. It doesn't work. So And no card games are like that? This is the first of its kind. Well, magic's like that, but the problem oh. with um, the problem with magic is that uh, what do you call it? You have to, you know, how the mana system, right? So you save mm -hmm. up like five mana, but if in magic, uh, uh, if you use your mana on your opponent's turn, even though you can cast spells, you don't have the resources to do so. But in right. Runeterra, every turn, every, no matter if you're attacking, defending, everyone has access to the same resources. And in Runeterra, at the beginning of every turn, everyone draws a card. Right, because right. in Hearthstone, it's like your turn, you draw a card. My turn, I draw a card. No, it's it's completely different. It's my turn, we both draw a card, so we both can oh, find so exactly. Like, okay, I see. Exactly. Got it. So you're constantly finding options that way. Wow. Okay. And then, really quick, are you ex what what card are you most excited about in the expansion? Okay. Two cards. One is uh, Leona. I was support main when I played League of Legends back in <laughs> cool. when I was back, back in like season two. I was excited about Leona. <laughs> Plus, they made her animations like super sick. So you got to watch the reveal trailer for that. Um, two, I don't. I know you're not excited about this, maybe. But Aurel <laughs> no, I, Aurel I like it. But he seems Aurelian, like Aurelian Soul. They did a really good job of hyping. He was the very last character that they brought in to uh, the reveal, and they did a really good job of hyping him up because everyone's playing him right now. So yeah, because I heard it's just like you just ramp up. To him and then he's then just a fat dragon that's just annihilating every everyone right now so yes yeah 
So what? So okay. Last question, and then sorry. Sorry, so, Camille. Sorry, Camille. I know we're, no, <laughs> we're having a little. No. <laughs> what hey, listen, I've had my fair share of taking out, learning <laughs> on the yeah. podcast. Please, <laughs> please, please, please. This. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> yeah, hit me, Alex. Yeah. So, what is your counter to Aurelian Soul? What is my counter to Aurelian Soul? You just go faster. So oh, I can answer that. Uh, you can just go I, faster. I, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I got him. I got him. Like, yeah. I converted him. Aspects, like, uh, I only know a few things here and there because uh, one of my friends plays it a lot, and I've just been like watching him. Um, you got to play so, it. So like like Jinx, Draven decks, or like Misfortune Quinn, like things like that. Like really. Yeah. So any so in in our uh, terms, it's called going under them. So Aurelian Soul, you can only play it on turn ten, which is the last turn, like because he costs so much mana. All so. Right. Um, the whole point of the Roland Soul decks are to stay alive until you can play Roland Soul, right? So mm-hmm. if you want to beat them, the goal is you should play those Jinx Draven decks, those really aggressive decks that can go under them and try to beat them before they can finally cast a Roland Soul. Yeah, so right. cool. exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, right. Yeah. yeah. On your guides. And then yeah, I'm- yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh. You gotta play sometime. Yeah, because I've been having yeah, really me hard too, stuff. guys. I see oh, how you go. go. Camille. And I'm downloading the update, and I did it on my data. So that's why, wow. you guys, I care. Oh. I didn't even use my Wi-Fi for I it. did my job I today, so I'm proud. my cell phone plan data. So there you go. Caboose, where are you at? Caboose, Where's your room, Tara? You Where's your room, Tara, Caboose? Where's the phone's on charge, okay? <laughs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Try to, okay, you know what? You want me to derail the whole stream so I can download this app? Oh my Is that what you want me to do, Camille? <laughs> I'll shut this whole thing down. Well, wait. Can I, wow. can I quickly wait. answer a question in the chat real quick? We got uh, yes. yeah, yeah. asked, I have a question. Do you have to spend real money to have a good deck? That's why I stopped playing MPG. Ooh. So oh, in Magic, no, I agree. Magic decks were expensive, guys. Like people were paying like 400 to $800 just to play. Mm-hmm. Like What? Car- no, because car- like, it's supply and demand, fast. right? That's supply and wow. demand. Like cards would go up to like forty bucks a piece, and you needed four of those cards in a deck, and it's like it racks up. So, yeah. um, let me tell you right now, uh, Megalino, that was completely solved in Runeterra. They, uh, what do you call it? They made it so that there's no booster packs in Runeterra, by the way. Um, everything is completely craftable. So what you do is you play the game, and over the time when you play a game, you collect up shards, and then with your shards, you can basically craft any deck that you want, and it's extremely, extremely easy once you play like just a little bit. I think after I played for about a week or two weeks, I had like four or five of the top decks in the meta without paying like a penny. So nice. if you're looking for like a solid game that does a great job of uh, enforcing kind of like a progression system and just making you like allowing you to get the cards you want just by playing, like Runeterra is like the perfect card game, man. But you so, bought yeah. the stickers though. What's up? But you bought the stickers though, right? I did buy the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> I, bought the, I bought the emotes. I bought the emotes. Yeah. I bought the cosmetics. You spend money on the emotes, not the deck. Okay. That's mm-hmm. Runeterra's way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. We do have one last topic uh, to move on to. And you know what, Paul? Just thanks for that one because it's been eye opening. I'm still updating my copy <laughs> and then I'm going to have to read some of your articles, as Alex said, and get good. Uh- <laughs>